Hi, welcome to Graphim, a graph database benchmark developed at Universidad Simón Bolívar. Our goal is to define a fair benchmark to test several general purpose graph database machines and RDF engines with graph based tasks on graphs of different characteristics. In our website, the community can find not only information about our project, but you can also check the most updated results of this benchmark and visualize them for a better understanding. Additionally, we offer you a visualization tool that will allow you to realize how important is internal implementation of each engine in relation to the characteristics of the graphs and the complexity of each task. To understand the complexity of the graph-based tasks required to consume and mine linked data, we exploit the properties of the heat maps. We visualize the number of accesses that need to be performed during a task execution on a particular graph. Among the tasks to be evaluated are graph creation, adjacency, and basic reachability tasks like breadth-first search, deep-first search, k-hops, and shortest path. The complexity of graph mining algorithms such as dense subgraph and graph summarization can also be visualized. For example, here we can see how graph size and density can significantly affect the behavior for the breadth first search task. This shows an important source of complexity depending on the internal implementation of the engines, so they must be taken into account to understand the behavior of the evaluated graph engines. At the moment, we have tested three general purpose graph database machines. Neo4j, DEX, and HyperGraphDB, and one state-of-the-art RDF engine, which is RDF3x, on their synthetic graphs with a fixed number of nodes and different density values, two real-world graphs, New York City and Florida State Roads, and one RDF graph from Berlin Benchmark. Here, we present the time and memory needed for each machine to complete each task for a given graph. For the visualization of these results, we use D3 JavaScript library and modify an existing implementation of parallel coordinates, which is perfect to visualize high-dimensional data. Now, we can choose to show the benchmark results for a particular graph, engine, or task. You can also choose whether or not you want to display the logarithmic scale for each dimension, measure in minutes for the time results, and in megabytes for the memory results. From this visualization tool, we can derive several conclusions. First, definitely graph size and density impact negatively on the performance of all the engines. Also, reachability tasks using both breadth-first and deep-first policies are extremely time-consuming for every graph and engine. Particularly, RDF3x outperforms the rest of the engines in pattern matching and graph creation. Also, DEX seems to overcome the rest of the engines when graphs are dense, and Neo4j exhibits better performance in sparse graphs. Visit us at graphion.ldc.usv.ve to keep you updated with our latest results.